you think? What do you guys think? You know, I really like it. Um, it's a lot of fun, and it's a constantly changing, adapting environment, so I, I think it's a lot of fun. It hits uh, horror elements pretty well. It does. Um, you start to feel a little... I mean, the, the, the basic game did feel really easy. I don't know if we just got super lucky with I, our tile draws. I mean, yeah, I think it was just... But... No, it, it uh, like it feels especially like now knowing that the the wax eaters are only going to hit when you move. Exactly. There's a lot more strategy that you have to it. A little, a lot less luck. Yeah. And so you can you can kind of finagle. See, I, like to me, I feel like that is too easy. A little bit, yeah. Because in the book, it literally says they do not like light. So I thought, how I understood it is, if you draw them, you're going to get attacked because it's light. They're in a the dark. Boom, right. Attack, instead of their based off movement, it based off movement, it, a lot more strategies involved. Yeah, yeah. I think the game would be a lot scarier if you couldn't talk to each other, and just had to wander. Oh man, that would be like, I, there's no way to do it. You couldn't section off the board where you couldn't see each other. But man, that would be so much fun. Where it's like, like when we were at Guildhall oh, talking about you're proximity not even, chat. Yeah. Like, so you're not even talking about can't talk to each other. You mean like. Can't even see anybody's until you pieces. Get, yeah, until you get close. No, there's no way you yeah. could do that with a board game. Yeah. But uh, you could do a, a, a kibosh on communication, but I think that would yeah. just make it not a very fun gaming uh, for experience. For me, I, I I I don't know if you guys rate, but I eight out we of ten. No, we don't. We me. don't rate with. with yeah, like shut up. Oh, system. sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, I think it's a great game. I think, I think it's one worth to be on the shelf. I do too. Yeah. I think I think the base game is like the basic game that we played is the introductory, like, here's how the game works. Right. And I, I don't know if we just got... I, I don't think we got all that lucky. I think it's just an easy version. I think it's easy mode. Yes. We Adding also, in all of yeah. the other elements... Well, we went from we went from 1 you, to 11. We did. So, but I would say gradually work up. Sure, but I think but I think those other elements are where the game yes. shines. Yes. Yeah. I do think, though, I mean, the game would go way quickly if the keepers did disappear out of line of sight. Yeah. Um, I think maybe... Did I ever notice all his suggestions are, like, how to make the harder. game impossible? Right, right. yeah. <laughs> make the game even harder. What if you could never see the tiles you step on? You can't talk to anyone. You have to play blindfold, and there are no keys. <laughs> and if you lose, you have to cut off a pinky. Yeah. Lose your fingers as you play. It doesn't have to be yours, but... <laughs> I like I like this game a lot. I thought it was very fun. I I love the design of it. Uh, the and the art it's very I joked about it, but it's very reminiscent. There's a Japanese artist, Junji Ito. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. It, no, he, you're not it, you're not pronouncing yeah, it wrong. Yes, I think that's it, right. Like it very. I love I I love that sort of. His stuff is very creepy, and it's got a yeah. similar but not the not yeah. uh, not too dissimilar creepy vibe, and it works. It works very well. Yeah, Agreed. I think it's it's an extremely well put together package like everything about it, like yeah. the, the art the mechanics the theme like it all works really, i mean what really sold well. me on the game before i even read anything about it was the artwork i saw the artwork like yeah ooh, i like it that's pretty i don't know how the game is played there i want it on my shelf there are a lot of games that get get me with just yeah. that but then the gameplay fantastic yeah, yeah. Uh, i would love to see it go with five to see how quick that goes i kind of i'd be curious to see how it's different with five i i suspect that Four is probably where this game sweet spot. Yeah, that's the, the sweet five spot though. With it. Goes on the other side of the map where it right, is bigger. it's a bigger map. It's a bigger yeah. map. But uh, I so far every time I played it at this point now has been three times. Well, four if I count myself playing by myself. Um, yeah, which is also a unique factor about this game. It is a one it's player solo. game. Oh, yeah. yeah, you just play as all but you four play characters. all four characters. Yes. It's yeah the same same gimmick as same when gimmick, you're playing yeah. with three and yeah, one of you controls empty seat every round but love it I'm glad that I uh, kickstarted that yeah it's um, a good one I would definitely play it yeah again. I think it, and also it sits on the shelf real nice mm -hmm. <laughs> right yeah it's a pretty box it's, it's but it's like exactly the right dimensions yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the perfect box size and it's like just minimalist enough that people are like ooh what's that yeah yeah yeah, and the art uh, the art will catch people's attention. If you've got people over for a board game night and you're like, look look at my collection, pick something that and looks interesting. Yeah, and this one This will get people's attention. And this is sure. not and this is one of those games where people are like, Oh, I'd love to try that and you don't have to go, uh, how many board games do you play like this is not like the yeah. easiest board game in the world, but it's not 
it's, it's not it's not impossible. overly crushing. No, and yeah. the more you play it, it's like the rules might be a little complicated to start with. But obviously, we misunderstood the rules the first time we <laughs> played. <laughs> but the more you play it, it's just muscle yeah. memory. It's like this, 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 this. You're good. Just go. Yeah. Yeah. So. And it, yeah, and I think I think to Eric's point, I think you could teach this yes. to, to beginner board gamers. I would probably opt to start with something simple. Yeah, this wouldn't yeah. be somebody who's this wouldn't brand be the new. first board game I'd ever show somebody. But but, but you could. Yeah. Get ready. The nice thing is, I have to dig it all the way out. There is a um, on the back of the the rule book has a, a turn order. Yeah, on the back of it has a turn schematic. order schematic. So I mean, here it is. Wow. So you just follow that. That's all you need to do to play the game. It's just stay, move, move on down. Falling, you do these actions. Right. So I mean, it's it's. I would say it's pretty easy to teach. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think so too. Uh, I think it's there. There are a couple mechan. Honestly, the the Pac Man mechanic where everything is conti uh -huh. contiguous when you hit the edge of the board and you just wrap around. That is the one thing where you start to lose track. Of who's, of, who's yeah. of playing the mechanic, like the gameplay mechanics in practice, start to get a little bit tough to execute, even if it's easy to understand. Yeah, but it's never been like it's not insurmountable. And also, like the worst case scenario is something stays on the board that you never interact with, anyways. Right? So. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's not a big deal if you're like, oh wait, because because at worst you're gonna get to a point where you're like, oh, I'm supposed to place a tile. That wait, why is that tile there right. already? Just take it off, and then it's not a big deal. Yeah, it's a good uh, game. It is. Yeah. It's a really solid game. I I will definitely play it again, though, for sure. Anytime you guys want to. Yeah. Is it? I, I think it's. Uh, I think it's available for a late pledge. So they're going to be doing another. It release might on also it. be at your board game store. I'm not 100 percent sure. Oh, absolutely, because friendly because your friendly local game store will back stuff that's on Kickstarter just to have it to to sell. But the Nightcage.com is the website. And they do have late backing open. Okay. Um, I don't know when they'll be able to fulfill that, yeah. but uh, that that is a way to get a hold of a copy of this game now that it's out of Kickstarter. It's not published by anybody. This is a, just an indie game. Yeah, the game company Smirk is Smirk and Dagger. Dagger. Smirk and Dagger games and Smirk and Laughter games are this both. Is, I, I love that... The, Developers can do that, but I also hate it because it makes it really hard to buy these once they <laughs> once the Kickstarter is yeah. done. Yeah, but uh, yeah, no, this is a great game, and I I like it. I'll play it again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Oh, now we're doing thumbs. Uh, we didn't give it a, a number. <laughs> yeah, it's not a rating. It's just like, hey, good stuff. Sure, whatever. Hey, thanks for hanging out. If you want to spend more time with us, do us a favor: hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and most importantly. Head on over to twitch.tv slash bnbtabletop and give us a follow there. We play board games live every Sunday night at 5 p.m. Pacific time on a show we call The Board and Barrel. And we like to keep things interactive. You guys can influence what happens throughout the course of a game with our buff and nerf house rules. You can also make predictions on how things are going to pan out, play virtual bingo for a chance to win a free board game of your own, and heckle us and stuff from the chat. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you Sunday night.